this year marks the journey of class number 18. They must survive months of academia. They must prove they're physically fit. They must gain skills only veterans of the fire service can teach. They must face the red dragon and their own fears. They will walk through the fire. They'll push themselves to the limit and try to figure out a way over the wall. To be assigned to a station like this is the goal of all the hopefuls of class number 18. Wait a minute. Who said anything about school? If you thought firefighting didn't mean time spent in the classroom, then you don't know that the profession is as mental as it is physical. In this case, it's also military. You got the little stuff. Class 18, seats. Classroom sessions are taught by academy instructors such as Dion Evans. Evans isn't just a firefighter who teaches here, he's also a graduate. And so is Robert Harris. Captain Robert Harris, that is. And so is Headmaster. Captain Brent Burton. There are lecture sessions moderated by guest instructors such as this one featuring Los Angeles City firefighter Robert Santillian. After about the fourth swing, it's just like someone turned on the light switch, everything went slow motion, the whole roof collapsed, and everything went black. And it was five o'clock in the afternoon, so it was a nice sunny, sunny Sunday afternoon. Everything went black, I couldn't see anything. Felt like I was falling forever, but uh, we actually fell anywhere between 12 to 15 feet. We uh, landed on the actual ceiling joist. The roof, well, the roof collapsed. We rolled the roof in and collapsed about uh, 15 feet. Couldn't see anything. I can see fire. I couldn't feel myself burning. I was scared. Um, I didn't know what was going to happen. My force 33 on the structure assignment. 720 Southwest Lake. Incident 726. Time out 17-12, yeah, TAC-12, that's 1-2. Field, the Life Force 33, make this Westlake IC. Westlake IC, roger. Firefighter Santillian has come here to lecture on firefighter survival, using an incident that almost took his own life. Yeah, well, we were responding to the incident address, which is right here on Westlake Boulevard. And yeah, if, if you notice, there's a bunch of uh, um, buildings that surround this apartment building that's just the way it, it is downtown you got all these apartment buildings that are right on each other and they're behind this two-story flat portion of that I was talking about there's a parking lot but first company is on scene you spot to the front and then when the IC after he places his companies he'll have someone maybe take a lap. well that didn't happen so no one knew that the back was burning until we actually got to the roof the sessions continue throughout class 18 stay at the Academy it's a reminder that brute strength isn't always the key to getting out of a bad situation. Being able to think your way out just might be your ticket. Professional fire departments believe in continuing health maintenance. Therefore, when our cadets are hired, they'll spend a lot of time here bulking their bodies up so they're able to meet the physical demands of the job. Here on the drill grounds, their wellness program is enforced every Saturday morning. And all of this before 8 o'clock in the morning. Eight. For these young men and women, Nine. being here means sacrificing Ten. time with family, friends, and loved ones. Six. But it's a worthwhile trade-off. Fatigue is setting in, and it's showing on their faces, and it's arguing with them from inside their bodies. Two, 
When they feel like they can't go on, a veteran steps up and shows them how it's really done. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 35, 36, 37. Come on, you can't let him beat you out. 40. Clap it up. There's no mercy here. Even though they're tired and fatigued, it's time for a 10 mile run through the streets of Compton. Smile, everyone. is led by Check Compton off, Firefighter sir, Michael Green. When you're being inspected, take your Everyone knows Stop him it. on the job as an exercise machine. This station has a training tower, and our cadets, once hired, will have a lot of time here sharpening their skills under hardcore veteran firefighters. Our cadets have a tower of their own, and before they leave here, they're going to get very chummy with it before all is said and done. Pick them up, pick them up. Treat it like your own family member, let's go. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. 